Hello, everyone. My name is Jonathan Silvestri with OSI Soft, now part of Aviva. And today, I'd like to walk you through our aluminum smelting plant demo to showcase the capabilities of the Pi system. Here on the landing page, I have a real-time operational dashboard that surfaces critical information essential to running the plant. I have aggregated data from a variety of OT systems and have created key performance indicators within the Pi system to quickly assess the current state of the plant. I noticed that there is an issue with the pot room. The specific energy consumption and current efficiencies are deviating significantly from normal values. I can navigate to the pot room display and see a collection of all the pots in both Hall A and Hall B. Here, I quickly see that there is an issue with pot four pot 13 and pot 9. With pot 4, it is experiencing a feeder blockage. Pot 13 has an anode that's positioned too high, whereas pot 9 has low alumina. Here on the bottom right hand side, there is an events table that summarizes all the anode effects occurrences, which is a key indicator of the process performance. The Pi system is used to determine when an anode effect occurs by looking at the current and the voltage. The frequency and duration of these events are used to create the anode effect frequency and anode effect duration KPIs. Let's investigate the feeder blockage on pot four. Clicking on the pot brings us to the pot details display. This display contains a lot of information from multiple sources, such as control systems, asset and maintenance systems, and gas emission measurements. This illustrates how the Pi system can bring data to one place, providing a holistic view of your process. The feeder blockage status does not come from a sensor or instrument, but it's rather inferred by using other sensor data and conditions available from the source systems. For example, the potential blockage of the feeder has been inferred by other data such as a resistance, feed valve position, and beam activity. This type of virtual sensor is an example of a value add that can be implemented in the Pi system with the knowledge derived from process engineers. Now that the process engineer knows which pot to focus on, he can address the issue and return the pot room back to normal operating conditions. Going back to the home page, we can see that our KPIs for specific energy consumption and current efficiency have returned back to levels that are within the acceptable range.